Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on algorithms with JavaScript. In this introductory video, we will briefly go over what this course is about and talk about the prerequisites to get started. I want to keep this introduction pretty simple, so I've made a list of three points. First, this course is an introduction to the fundamentals of algorithms. If you are a beginner to programming, if you are a software developer from a non-computer science background, or if you are a front-end developer looking to clear those algorithm and data structure interview rounds, this course is for you. Second point, this course is a practical take on algorithms with JavaScript. We are not going to go in depth on the theoretical aspects of algorithms. We will understand a few topics that are necessary and dive straight into problem solving. JavaScript will be the language used throughout the course. Third, this course is what I consider the first half of a larger course. The second half is about data structures in JavaScript and will be the next course you can expect on this channel. Algorithms and data structures go hand in hand so we will see a few algorithms on advanced data structures like trees and graphs as part of the next course. I would recommend you watch both the courses in their entirety to get the complete picture. With that in mind, here is a list of topics we will be covering in this course. We will start off by understanding what is an algorithm. We will then dive into measuring the performance of an algorithm. We will cover time and space complexities in a practical way. We will then talk about the big O notation, which is a really important prerequisite before we dive into the different algorithms. For the algorithms, I've classified them into four categories. Math, sort, search, and miscellaneous. By the end of this course, you'll have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of algorithms and problem solving in JavaScript. Now, as far as the prerequisites are concerned, we have just one, and that is modern JavaScript. If you're new to JavaScript, please watch my crash courses on the fundamentals of JavaScript, the advanced topics in JavaScript, and also the video on the important concepts in ES2015 and above. Now before we proceed, I want to mention a few points. What we are about to learn with this course on algorithms and the next part on data structures might put you out of your comfort zone. It might seem hard and that is because it is hard. Please don't stress yourselves out if you're not understanding a particular algorithm. My advice would be to have a pen and paper and trace the execution of code with a sample input. It is how I learned and is probably the easier way to learn than stare at your monitor figuring out what each line is doing. Make sure to occur along with me and not rush through the videos. The code will always be available at the link in the description for you to refer when necessary. Alright, with these points in mind, let's get started in the next video.